Hi, this is Quas from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to Rise Top. I would pick Rise into any matchup in solo queue. You can play any matchup as long as you're smart about your cooldowns, and if you feel you're gonna get pressure level one, you can also do a camp. You his his camp clear level one is not that slow, so that can get you out of a lot of trouble in lane early on. His main problem is just jungler camping, so just make sure you have wave control and always keep a ward out to prevent from getting camped and dying a lot early in, as that sets you behind a lot and stops you from hitting your mid-game power spike um, as soon as possible. Bryce Laning is one of the best, in my opinion, for top lane. His E level 1 is a really good harassing tool for when the enemy is trying to last hit. Um, you can bounce it off of the creeps and stack up a lot of damage for just one, just 60 mana level 1. And afterwards, you, uh, once you get some points in your W and, and whatever ability you're maxing, you can go for really good trades once you are at 4 stacks and you're about to prop your shield, since they won't be able to trade with the extra shield that you get from your passive, as well as the very low cooldowns you have from resetting with the other abilities. So Rising Teamfights, your main role is just going to be safe, damage dealer. You don't want to be flashing in in the beginning of a fight and ruining a target because you're not that tanky and you're going to blow up. So you want to start by throwing some Qs around and ch chunking some tanks, like maybe even room prisoning a tank and trying to poke him down a little bit. If you see an opportunity where you, your, the rest of your team can focus a squishy, then you can go ahead and flash room prison an enemy carry and try to unload and kill him and also reset your room prison if you, wanna, if you need to root him again. But otherwise, you just play safe in the back and kite around your cooldowns until you see the right moment to strike with a flash room prison. My number one rise step would be to always fight when you're about to hit your shield in lane. So when you're at four stacks and you're about to proc it, you just walk up to the opponent and root him or use your Q and M to proc the shield. That way, you will force a fight, and they will definitely not be able to trade with you 1v1 as the overall damage from your spell rotations will be too much for them to handle. My tip number two for Rise would be to always keep an eye on your cooldown bar, and if you, your goal is to root the target for the maximum amount of time, for example, you want to always be casting that spell whenever it comes off um, of cooldown. Say you are casting a rotation, and then your W and E are up, always cast your W as soon as possible so you have it on cooldown and you can reset it with your Q and E afterwards. For runes I like to go for Magic Pen Marks, AP Quints, Scaling Armor, Seals, and Scaling Magic Resist Glyphs because you get a lot of health from your setup but you are really lacking resistances so I think that's the most optimal setup to scale with well into the mid and late game. For Masters you can go for a 21 to 9 setup or you can experiment on your own. There's a lot of possibilities that you can go for. Me personally, lately, I've been trying the setup where you can go for like 13 or 14 points in offense and 14 points in defense and just a few points in utility to get the flat mana. So really, you can play around a lot with his masteries. There's a lot of things that work with him, so it's up to experimentation. For skill order, you want to take E level 1 pretty much all the time. It does the most damage in a level 1 scenario with your trade with minions around the, your enemy. For level 2 and onwards, uh, I advise maxing W first and only having a point in Q until you max W. For item builds for Ice, you want to always start with Doran's Ring and 2 potions. Reason is Doran's is the strongest AP item you can get for lane phase. You can also do Mana Crystal if you think your lane is going to be really easy. That way you'll get a faster tier. But in my opinion, going for Doran's early, like as a first item, is the best choice as it lets you pressure your lane really hard and not run out of mana because of the mana sustain. Afterwards, you want to get your Rod of Ages as soon as possible. And, wait, I lied. You want to buy your tier right after and start stacking that. And then afterwards, getting your Rod of Ages and looking to get your boots to Merc Threats if they have a lot of crowd control or Ninja Tavi if there's a lot of AD champions. Otherwise, you see them basic goods if there's, they don't have any of those, and just try to get your seraphs as soon as possible. And then following by that, you can go for Void Staff if they're a second other magic assist, or you can also try more other other options that will give you more damage in the game, like Ludens Echo or a Death Cap. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check the rest of my videos here at lawclass.com. So, swinging teamfights, what you're going to be doing is keeping an eye on the backline of the enemy.
for landing face on Lulu, pushing is the best choice when you can deny CS. Um, if it's a champion that last hits 